Hello, this is video 6 in the video series covering live CDs. You may also have heard them referred to as rescue discs or boot discs. Live CDs are very useful to technicians when they're working on a computer that won't boot into Windows or when they're working on a PC that is so badly infected with viruses that typical antiviruses can't remove them. Live CDs are also great for data recovery, password recovery and resets, and diagnostics. In this video I'm going to show you Hiren's boot CD. And to give you an idea of how Live CD works, you first download the ISO file, burn it to a disk, and with the disk in the CD DVD drive, restart your computer and the computer will boot into the Live CD. So right now I'm running Windows 7 Professional in VirtualBox, and my user's name is Win7Pro. So I have the disk in the DVD drive, and I'm going to restart the computer. And once the computer is booted into the disk, this is the menu you'll see. The first option is to boot from the hard drive, which will boot right back into the Windows system. There's Mini Windows XP, which is a stripped down version of XP. There's many DOS programs. Everything from partition tools to backup tools, hard disk tools, system info tools, master boot record tools, BIOS and CMOS tools, and a lot more. There's also a Linux based rescue environment which is parted magic. There's Windows memory diagnostics. Memtest 86 is also included on this. Offline MT password changer. Comboot which basically just passes the login screen and takes you right into the operating system so you don't need a password. Seagate disk wizard. There's smart boot manager. Fix NTLDR is missing. Derek's boot nuke. And you can also customize Hiram's Boot CD by adding your own program. And I'm going to go back up real quick. And I'm going to boot into Mini Windows XP. And even though it is a stripped down version of XP, it's still loaded with a lot of good features. You still have my computer, which if I went to that, I could choose a local disk. And here I have access to all the files on the Windows operating system. There's network setup where you can configure networking. And if I went to the start menu and went to programs, there's a lot of good features in here also including check disk, disk management, file manager, notepad, registry editor, and task manager. Under settings and control panel, you have the administrative tools which includes device manager and disk management. You can configure folder options and you could also gather system information. And this is another disk that's very good for data recovery and virus scanning. I would suggest downloading and burning this program to a disk and playing around with it and get used to its features and capabilities. There's a lot you can do with this. And if you're having trouble or you don't know how to burn a nice image to disk, please see my video on Image Burn. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.